So, the party's over, but what happens next? Chapter 8, the party's over. I only just have a quick question. Do you guys think he's going to get the thing he wanted for his birthday? The cat scratcher? Do you? Let's find out. Well, Kitty, I hope you're happy. The decorations are ruined, the cake is ruined, your new sweater is ruined, and all of your party guests have fled the house, running for their lives. Just like last year, and the year before that, and the year before that. Sorry. You know what, Kitty? Sometimes, just sometimes, you are a truly bad kitty. Ding dong. Meow, meow, meow. Spit, meow, hiss, meow. That, that, hiss. Meow, spit, meow, hiss. Oh, hush, kitty. It's probably just one of the other kitties coming back because she forgot something. Or maybe not. Maybe it's a nice surprise for you. Why don't you open the door to find out? Oh, okay. It's some chat. Meow? Oh, I think it's her mom. Oh. Well, kitty, I guess you got what you wanted for your birthday after all. Per, I think it's his mom. I'm going to go ahead and read chapter 9 so you don't have to go to another video because this was kind of short and it's only a few pages. So I'll go ahead and read chapter 9. Chapter 9. Good night, kitty. Goodbye, mama kitty. Yeah, I was right. It was, it was good seeing you again. Maybe kitty and I will go visit you someday. Yawn. What a fun day this has been, Kitty. Wasn't it great to see Mama Kitty again? Run all those balloons and stream it just lovely before you destroyed, demolished, disseminated, and shredded them all. Wasn't it great to see all of your friends again, even though you did chase them out of the house when you went berserk? Wasn't that a beautiful cake you sprayed on the walls? Well, the day's not over yet, Kitty. There's one more surprise left for you on your birthday. Puppy worked very hard to make something extra special for you. Look, Kitty. It's... Uh, the world's... Oh, never mind. Well, it's okay. <laughs> the world's worst cat scratcher. <laughs> that was the one he wanted. <laughs> Cardboard paper towel to, you know, everything he got for his birthday. The dog took it and made it for him. Made him the what he wanted. That's cute. Old comic book string. Pretty tufts of pretty kids. Swear. Old mothballs. Fine. Aw. Scratch. Shrivel. Poof. Slurp. Good night, kitty. <laughs> uh, Pindex. What was that kitty's breed? Even though all domestic cats or house cats are the same species, different characteristics like behavior and appearance separate one type of cat from another. Each of the kitties that come to the birthday party have represented a different breed of cat. Bee Kitty is a Maine Coon cat, one of the largest cat breeds. The males can weigh as much as 18 pounds. They d they derive the name coon cats because their long hair and brushy, brushy striped tails make them resemble raccoons. Some people think the first Maine Coon cat came from a group of six pet cats sent to Maine by Marie Antoinette when she was planning an escape from France during the French Revolution. The twin kitties are American short hair cats. American short hair cats come in a variety of 80 different colors and patterns, so they are colored American short hairs. The first ones come from Europe with early settlers. There are even records that show they were on the Mayflower. Stinky Kitty is a Persian cat, the number one breed in popularity thanks to their easygoing personality. Although Persians aren't known to be any secret than other breeds of cats, they do require daily cobblings of their dense, long fur and even occasional baths because their legs are short. They don't jump very high, but they do like to run. Chatty Kitty, I have a Siamese, Chatty Kitty is a Siamese cat, a breed that or her originated in Thrillin. Back in the 1800s, Thrillin was known as Saima. Siamese cats are considered one of the oldest breeds. Many other breeds, such as the Burmese and the Aki cat, have been delivered from the Siamese. And yes, they are very known for being talkative. I have a Siamese, her name's Coco, and she is very talkative, actually. So yeah, I do know she goes through this book. Yeah. Pretty Kitty is a Turkish and great cat, a breed that originated in the mountainous regions of Turkey where a long thick coat of fur would be useful during the harsh winters. The Turkish Angoria is considered such a national treasure that in 1917 the government of Turkey and the Angoria Zoo began a program that continues to this day to preserve the breed. Strange Kitty is a Sprint's cat, a national nation that was first seen in Tornado, Canada in 1966. Most 
infants, cats have absolutely no fur on their bodies except for very fine fuzz, and they might even have whiskers. This means that if they sit under the sun too long, they can actually get a sunburn. Because their skin is unprotected by fur, they need to take baths at least once a week. Um, this book was in memory of Sam and Hercules. Zuzu, Halloween, Tom, Lucky, Choo Choo, and all the other pets I have loved and not forgotten. Aww. And if you want more Bad Kitty books, read the hilarious campaign book to Happy Birthday, Bad Kitty. Bad Kitty gets a bath. And many more. Anyway, you guys, if you like this book, go check it out at the library. They have many in the series. They're pretty good. They you do get a good laugh out of them, actually. Um, and they're entertaining. They keep you doing something for about an hour almost um and so yeah i'm gonna go wash up my hair make a video later um and yeah subscribe like comment favorite um i'll see you guys later hold on like one second please and yeah i might answer but i'm gonna end this video um see you guys later bye